Hi guys, it's Michelle with Fanny Jack Soap. Oh, you want to? It's okay. And I'm coming here because I wanted to try this new hot process way of um, using your stick blender to bring it to trace and to um, actually go through the whole entire saponification until you get to a nice fluid um, hot process. Well, mine didn't turn out so well. <laughs> I think because um, it was um, Sharon. I'm sorry, I can't remember your last name, Sharon, but she did share it, and I thought it was awesome. But I found out in just listening to other people that you need a very good stick blender. I have an old stick blender, and I bought another one, and I just bought one, and I didn't want to burn that one out. So, um, my stick blender got pretty, pretty hot, and I'm like, okay, I got to stop. So I kind of traded between both um, my newer one and my old one. My old one is my old. I've had it forever from when I first started soap making over, holy smokes, over 10 plus years ago, maybe 11, 12 years ago. So anyways, um, that one is old. Okay, it's an old Pillsbury. That's back when Pillsbury um, dough boy was very popular and that's what kind that one is. Um, it is a 220 um, HP, whatever you call those. Um, but it was just hot yeah it was a hot 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 um, it was a hot day here in the house it was a hot day for that poor stick blender so before I go through this is my one pound loaf of um oh my god I can't remember but it was neon pink and it's supposed to be a um creamy white but it's more creamy beige than anything because of the fragrance actually was pink so it made this beige and obviously this one oh my god oh lick me all over and this one did change so I got this funny color and hot process again mine wasn't fluid like um hers was mine was sort of the same way it is always when I hot process um, so maybe next time I'll give it another try and we'll see um, how it turns out. But I want to just go ahead and get these cut. This again is just a one pound batch. This is 12 ounce, 12, excuse me, 16 ounces of oils. Um, this is a new recipe. I did use um, sodium lactate um, in this. Um, it was one and a half teaspoons I put in here. This thing is hard. Um, yeah not a lot of sticking um, this is just a temporary recipe until I get some more oils in so anyway so we'll cut that let's see what it looks like so I did an, um, a spoon swirl which I think came out pretty cute um, if you were to actually look at the soap itself you wouldn't think it's hot process until you've seen the top now I could cut the top off <laughs> and it could pass um, so yeah, sorry about my arm in a way. So let's just go ahead and get these done. These are really small bars. These bars I offer to sell. Um, I think I sell these for uh, maybe three dollars because they're smaller. This actually smells pretty good, and this swirl came out pretty cute. I like it. I don't really, you know, I do in the pot swirls. I do the drop swirls. I'm thinking I'm becoming more creative now. <laughs> what I do and so yeah so oh never mind I don't even want to say what it looks like somebody might say it looks like oh it's cute it's pretty I like it so again with this um I didn't generate enough heat so I had to add heat to this one I did stick it in the microwave something I never do but um, I didn't see any other way aside from breaking out the double boiler and I didn't feel like it um, it was really thick and um, I did have my oils at about 210 um, 210 degrees um, my lie was 170 I couldn't get it to 180 um, it just wouldn't do. I did add um, some silk. Um, I use um, some. What is that? What is that we use? Um, yogurt. But I, I still couldn't get what she had achieved. Like I said, I, I believe 
I'm going to need to invest if I want to use that technique into a newer, much more powerful, longer lasting stick blender. Um, but aside from that, I see how um, she achieves it. Once you achieve, you get to the um, separation, or there's boiled up. Mine just separated it's because I used a different recipe. Um, this recipe actually is made with lard. Um, I do like lard in my soap. It helps give it um, a more firmer bar. So yeah. So anyways, um, I thanks for watching. I'm glad I shared it. I'm going to try it again. Um, I'm going to change up a, a few things that I do. Um, and I'm going to go from there. So again, thanks for watching. You guys have a good evening. Bye.